Touch knows, like, I'm, I, I ride for anybody that's around in my circle, the people who I really care about. And the people that I really care about knows who they are. If anybody hurts the people that I got love for, it hurts me too. And friend, I feel if I have to get involved, then I get involved. Oh no. That's my thing. I know you guys don't, I don't talk that much, I don't, you know, you know, get involved in certain things. I'm a very low-key kind of person. I keep myself to myself and come out when I need to come out. And if I come out at you, that means you know I'm coming at you for a reason. But my thing is, like, Tasha always tells me, you know, if I, you know, when I come across the people, I kind of say what I have to say, no matter how it come across or how it sounds. I'm not trying to be disrespectful when I when I talk to people and stuff like that. It's not like I'm trying to be harsh or you know downplay nobody or, or do anything like that. This is me. This is how I'm gonna talk. This is how I talk. I get my point across. If I offended you, then you say I offended you. If you oh, have no. something to say, then say something back. So we can figure out the situation. I'm already going through a similar situation with some people. But that's the thing. I say what I gotta say, and if you have a response back, then say your response back. Don't be butthurt about it. Like, Tosh think I'm a little too harsh when I come across and I talk to people. And a lot of people are scared and get offended. They get offended when I talk to them because of that. You know, I always try to work on it through the years and stuff like that. If there's any conflicts or anything like that. I always try to let people know, like, no offense. Or I just say no offense. Like, I'm just trying to, you know, get a point across. I'm trying to, you know, think I'm not trying to be mean. So I try to explain myself before I get into whatever whatever I gotta say. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm just trying to be honest and true. Cause the thing about people, nobody don't like to hear the truth about themselves. And I'm the kind of person it's not it's not much you can say to me that I don't already know. Because I come to truth with myself or all my downfalls. They don't own up to their downfalls you know what I'm saying like I got my issues I got a lot of issues that I need to work on and stuff like that so it's not nothing you could say to me that will hurt me it's not gonna hurt me if you sit there you tell me oh Jason you already you know you talk to people mean or you say thing I already know that my thing is about that is like yo I can only be honest with you so if I say something to offend you um, you know all I can say at the end of that is I'm sorry but people gotta understand your fucking downfall. So somebody call you on a downfall, like if I'm saying something to you and you know it's fucking true, or sitting there and be butt here about it, you know it's true. Take it and own up to it. I sit back and I watch people stressing about about these small stuff, little stuff, couples arguing about the dumb shit. I mean, I look at life a whole different way, man. I think the people who actually been through shit in their life have more respect for life and the values of being here on this world, you know, living life. Those are the people who actually understands a little bit more how the world works. The people who have been through shit, those are the ones who sit there and they talk about the petty stuff and, and fight over nonsense, especially couples and stuff like that. They fight over the bullshit and that's why a lot of freaking, you know, marriages and stuff like that don't work because you all sit there and fight over dumb stuff. Me, as far as our relationship with Tosh, Tosh know I'm going to be straightforward. Especially when it comes to our relationship, yes, I'm going to be straightforward about all that shit. As far as this life thing, me and Tosh been through a lot. She been through her shit, we been through her shit. And for somehow, you know, the way how we came together is that we, we both needed something. And we both needed the same thing, which is, you know, somebody to just be there for us. And we were, we were there for each other. So that's how we've been to grow from that. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, I just see life so much differently, man. I live one day at a time. That's why I told Tosh, I don't worry about what's going to happen tomorrow. I'll deal with tomorrow when I wake up tomorrow. Because there's nothing I can do. So say, yeah, you got something planned for tomorrow. And yes, in your head for today... 
you know you know this is gonna happen tomorrow but when you wake up tomorrow you don't know exactly what's gonna happen tomorrow that how you plan it out the day before it's not gonna work it might not work out the same way how you plan it out something's gonna happen that's the way how life works that's why I do times try to I try not to stress about about the small stuff like petty arguments and stuff like that and <laughs> I know Tasha would say that this is true but I, I ever if me and Tasha arguing about something and I know it's some dumb shit I'm like Tasha listen I really don't have the time to argue about it I got bigger problems to worry about than that so why are we gonna sit here and waste time and energy when we could be focusing on something else just hearing other hearing this stuff about other people and stuff like that like it just bothers me man I just know that you know I'm true to myself and I think that's the thing about people got to be true to their own selves if you haven't been through nothing you know somebody that been through something I think you should have a level of respect for that person who been through something don't try to downplay that person don't don't think that that person is you know you're better than that person because you haven't been through that sh shit always comes around and when that time comes and you went and you and you going through that same situation that person went through now you're gonna wonder to yourself like wow now now I really know what that person went through and you're thinking to yourself how the hell did this person make it through it I can't do this how did how did, how do he or she did this so that's why I'm saying like sit there not nobody or Try to downplay nobody who been through shit. You know, I just, you know, I just hate getting stressed out about shit like this. You know, that kind of shit bothers me, especially when it comes around and it, and it, and it hits personally with me. Because I don't play that game. I don't play that shit. I'm the kind of person I like to get my point across, and I'm, I'm gonna let you know. No, you can't. You can't. You can't do that shit. I'm not gonna sit here and let you do that. Tell me what you think. But yeah, you know, usually. I'm kind of a really good character too. I'm meeting somebody, and Tosh will tell you that out of the jump. I call like I could be around somebody and have, a, and by the end of the day, have a very good judge of character about you. And I always sit there and I tell Tosh this, and I really don't. This person is just not right, or if they're like a couple or something like that, I'll be like, yo, something about this person, I just. I just can't shake. And I'm you know, I'm not the kind of person, yes, I'm be kosher with that person, but I'm not gonna sit there and be fake and be funny in your face. I, I'm not that. I'm not gonna be fake in front of you. If it comes up to a point that I could bring it up, then I'll bring it up. Usually nine out of ten Tosh always stops. <laughs> but yeah, I'm bring on very good, you know, judge a character like that. If I got a bad feeling about somebody, I can't help it until you prove me wrong that my, you know, my judgment is wrong then yeah I could drop it Toss seen a lot of my logic that I did say to her a lot of it came out true about a lot of stuff that I said about you know my character between other people and stuff like that a lot of it did she did notice it for herself so I really think I'm a very good judge of character on that it's just so annoying man it's crazy People just need to freaking be honest with themselves. Anyway, I just need to get some shit off my chest. Just kind of pissed. I just don't like people playing with emotions, taking advantage. And that's the right way to put it, taking advantage. If you ever been through shit, they don't judge people for the shit that they've been through. Or don't knock them for that shit that they've been through. Because sooner or later, that same shit or something worse is gonna happen to you. And then you're gonna sit there with that dumb look on your face like, I'm going to fuck up, huh? <laughs> well, anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna get back to work. I just wanted to chat, chat that one out. I don't know if it made sense or not. Like I said, I just, I felt like I was just rambling. I don't usually ramble. I usually ramble in my head. <laughs> the reason why I started to record it because I had this whole conversation in my head as I was driving. <laughs> so I was like, you know what, well, how about I just record this real quick. If Tosh wants to use it, she use it. 
If not, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, I feel it as she does put it up. And people do get offended of what I say. I'm just letting you know I'll be an honest. Don't sit there now after hearing this and be like, oh, all hurt and they all, oh, you know, how can you say that then? You, you know, everybody knows I'm not the whole taxi tax, you know, kind of person. I'm not going to sit there and have a full-blown conversation with you. Depending on what the situation is, I'll call you about it. You could call me about it. If not, I'm a very face-to-face -face talker. If I need to get my point across, I'll come see you. Or you can come see me. But in the end of the day, I'm just being honest. I don't give a shit. If you feel a kind of way about it, then you, you know, you come back and you approach me. And then we can work it out through that. And at the end of the day, we can't resolve it. And we decide to just part ways. Then we part ways. If that's going to be how it's going to be. I don't, I don't live my life, you know, waiting, waiting for nobody. The only people I wait for is my family. That's my wife and my kids. And all the closest part of my family and everybody else knows who, who they are. And when it comes to turn with that, people who I really ride with and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm about to work. Just wanted to vent about that. Yep. So.